Chatelet, everybody. What you're looking at is the Audio Quest Night Owl. And the previous headphone I had from them was the Night Hawk. But this is a Night Owl. And uh, they both have the liquid wood ear cups. The uh, Night Hawk had that wood looking wood, brown with streaks. This is just plain old black. I preferred the brown color, but eh, whatever. Uh, this has detachable <clears throat> two-sided <clears throat> left-right. These are mono plugs, as you can see. They're uh, now my. I have another headphone that has stereo plugs, but can't use it with this because they don't fit. But anyway, uh, the, and any the other end, of course, is a mini plug. And this headphone came with just this one cord. It's about a meter and a half cord. And it's like a rubber hose. You could you could whip somebody with this thing. I mean, seriously, it's uh it's at least uh at least a quarter inch thick, I don't know. I hate the thing. And the reason being is because it doesn't lay flat. Now, no matter where you set it, it just wants to assume its own shape. And uh it's just it's horrible. I hate it. That's at home or uh, on the road. But uh, it looks like a strong cord. It has a, this thing in the middle, at the Y, and it's a button. So you can go tap, 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 reverse, tap, tap, forward, and tap, tap, start, stop. And uh, that's about all there is to say about that cable. Pretty short. Um, I think it's a meter and a half, but yeah, about that. So let's see, uh, we're gonna cover a lot on this headphone here. As we can see from this sales receipt here from Audio Advisor that they uh, charged me $399.95, except they gave me credit for the shipping because they shipped it by FedEx instead of USPS. And USPS is a scam, if nobody has ever told you that. United States Postal Service is a scam. Uh, Amazon doesn't even give you a choice of shipping. Most of these other places don't, and they don't even deliver to a lot of places. I mean, they're an utter scam. So, um, and that's documented, heavily documented. So back to this headphone. Um, it uh, is a closed back, and it's very similar to the Nighthawk in design. One size fits all. Stick a thing on your head and then pull the ear cups down. The uh, padding on the uh, headband is minimal, but it's uh, it's a real soft headband. You can actually bend it any way you want. It's a piece of leather with the padding underneath. Padding is like a quilted pad. And inside the ear cups, if we can see in there, yeah, I think we can. Inside those ear cups is a quilted kind of padding also. The uh, ear, ear pads are extremely soft and squishy and very comfortable in there leather, protein leather. It also came with an extra set of pads which are, uh, oh let's see, I get, they're either Velour or Alcantara. I think they're some, somewhere in between that actually. It's kind of like in between the two, but it's a, it's a cloth anyway. I hate them. You know, the cloth, if you're, if you're in hot weather a lot, it uh, gathers up sweat and everything else and you have to take them off and wash them. And uh, I, I like something that's more stable for sound, even if I can't, you know, operate in hot weather as much. So let's see, this is closed back, and I did say it's one size fits all, so that, you know, you just put it on your head, and it's, it's comfortable. The ear cups uh, are so soft and with enough pressure and weight that, uh, yeah, it pretty much takes most of the pressure off that headband, so it's very comfortable. Other headbands I've had that, uh, push on my head that are uncomfortable. This one is not, so I'd rate it pretty highly for that. The uh, isolation on here is fairly good, actually. I'm in the middle of some construction at my abode, and they um, uh, make a lot of noise, and this uh, takes care of most of it pretty good. It's not high isolation like some high isolation headphones. It's just moderate, but it's, but it's good, decent. Uh, so if you don't have a noise canceler, uh, which you wouldn't want this kind of headphone. This is a great way to go. By the way, I got this a year and a couple months after it was announced, and the price had fallen from 700 USD down to 400. So I got it for 400. So it's a real deal. Now the let's look at the sound before I go further with the headphone. This 
is my preliminary estimated response curve. And that shows that I boosted the base by 6 dB at 40 Hz. The base here is weak. This is the opposite of the uh, Nighthawk. The Nighthawk had a fairly decent emphasis in the uh, upper base, not in the lower base. Uh, but this, no, this is um, it's kind of flat in the upper base, but it's, uh, it's definitely very weak, rolls off a lot. Then the uh, treble is a mess. Uh, it's a, it has the big recess in the lower treble that the Nighthawk has. Uh, but the treble is much more choppy here than a Nighthawk. Now I'm hoping that it smooths out a little bit after burn-in, but I'm, not, I'm losing my optimism because after about 24 hours of straight burn-in, it hasn't really showed any improvement. But uh, the main thing it is is that some of the uh, resonances in here are sharp and narrow, and uh, if you have a tone sweep, a good tone sweep, they'll really show up. So uh, I boosted it quite a bit around 25 100 hertz and 3500 hertz that's low treble now the, um, the there's a sharp recess at uh, 8 kilohertz here with a pretty strong 9 kilohertz and uh, the um, the other headphone I did most recently which was the um, uh, Shinola Canfield on ear it had a big recess at 9 kilohertz this one's at 8 kilohertz every headphone's different so uh, what you're looking at, at, that curve right there, is not a curve made to suit my particular hearing. It was made to suit natural sound. And it's easy for anybody with relatively normal hearing to, to uh, tune a headphone for natural sound. Just go out and hear some live music. Make sure your headphone sounds the same. doesn't matter what your hearing is. When you got a match, you've got a natural sounding headphone. And that's what it takes right here. So it's got kind of a choppy treble and a very recessed treble. And... Uh, but, you know, I sort of expected that. So, so much for that. That particular sound. Uh, by the way, when it sounds EQ'd, of course, it's excellent. The, the bass uh, actually sounds uh, pretty detailed and uh, really authentic. has a, the right kind of tone to it. And, of course, the upper frequencies, once EQ'd, they have pretty good tone to them, too. Comes uh, This comes in a box, tells you something about... Uh, how to uh, burn it in. Of course, uh, the thing of it is, is that why don't they do that at the lab with what they charge for these things? They could burn them in there. Well, let's see what accessories we have in here. There was a uh, quarter inch plug in here somewhere, adapter. You know what those are. There's a kind of a silk bag they give with it, supposedly to put the headphone in. That would be completely useless in my view. Their adapter is really nice for, uh, you know, uh, what is it, 3.5 to 6.35 millimeter or quarter inch. And uh, I like these ones that are flat on the bottom that don't screw in because they snap on. And of course, well, look at that. It doesn't have any uh, gold plating on it. Uh, the uh, thing came with lots of literature. Uh, there's another little cloth they give you with it so you can uh, wipe the ear cups. I did not take it out of the bag. Microfiber, probably. Here's a bunch of literature in here from AudioQuest, but you can get the PDF download from them and read that instead of uh, dealing with the uh, paperwork. And let's see what else we have down here. And then we have these spare ear pads, and these are Alcantara, I guess. They, uh, of course, you get the quoted uh, fabric in here. And these are snap-on, snap-off. You can see the little snaps on there. And uh, Alcantara, yep, it's, uh, it's kind of a microfiber, actually, and uh, I don't like it at all. And then, of course, it comes, let's see, get the headphone out of the way here, it comes in this carry case. Let's see if we can squeeze it into the picture here. I love doing videos in a car because it irritates people that I don't like. So, uh, here we go with that case, and it has a little handle on it. And uh, yeah, this thing's about... Uh, 11 inches long, 9 inches wide, and good 4 inches high. It's pretty bulky. You won't put this in a backpack and, uh, and carry on luggage. It's going to take up way too much space. And let's see if we can get a, a look at this right here. Maybe from the side. Yeah, yeah. Wow, this is really hard. It's really hard to know where you go. Anyway, you can see the cutout in the center. And the case is much bulkier around that cutout there. 
So uh, you're much better off taking, uh, if you're going to transport this thing in a carry-on luggage to, you know, wrap something around it, some clothing or whatever, and put it in your suitcase to stay using that big bulky case. Case is good protection if you're really doing, uh, if you're moving or something. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to say, the uh, headphone does have uh, quite a bit of leakage. This is an open headphone. No, nope, it's closed back. What am I saying? I said that before. This is closed, and it has decent isolation. But it has a lot of leakage. Uh, anyway, well, maybe it's not terrible leakage, but it's enough that, uh, you know, I wouldn't play audio file volume levels in the library sitting next to somebody. That's not going to work. Uh, not much to say about this. It's relatively heavy, but uh, it's super comfortable, so uh, no big deal there. I give it a recommendation if you're going to use an equalizer. And, um, uh, well, other than that, uh, what else is there to say? Luxury headphone at a discount price. And that's probably all we need to say. So that's the Audio Quest Night Owl. Pretty much the same thing as the Nighthawk, except not as good. Thank you very much.